Hey everyone, welcome back to Agile Coder. In this video, we'll see how to set up EBS SPP and PCSX2 in my Mac M1 machine. Let's get started. So I have a Mac M1 Air base variant that is 8 GB and 256 GB SSD. So in this machine, I want to set up PCSX2 and PPSSPP. So let's just get the emulators right away. So you can download the PCSX2 emulator from this site, which is PCSX2.net. And I prefer to download the nightly version because the latest features come to nightly at first. And for the PPSSPP, you can download it from PPSSPP.org. You can download the free version here or honestly, I don't see any difference between these two things so I'll go with this ppssp.dmg so now that I've downloaded for installing simply have to drag and drop in the applications directory this I have to extract it and after extraction I can simply drag it to the applications directory so we can delete these things now pcsx2 now at first it will show you uh, this error so what you can do is go to settings then privacy and security then open anyway this should be opening our PCSX2 and choose your whatever theme you like. I'll just go with the native because that don't make any sense. Now you have now you have to download the BIOS. You can download the PCSX2 BIOS. You know there are a lot of websites from where you can download. Just search for PS2 BIOS and you'll get it. Anyways, I'll leave a link in the description as well. You can check that from there as well. So I have downloaded the BIOS already. So I'll just direct it to there. I'll select any one of these things. And then, yeah, this is the USA version of BIOS. Then you can click on next. This will be asking for the directories for the games. For now, let's just move ahead. Controller type DualShock 2. Yes, I have a DualShock 2 controller. So I'll go with this, t with this thing. And let's just finish it. So this is the PCSX2 that we have installed. Let me connect my controller real quick. So I have a Bluetooth controller here. Yep, that is connected. So my controller is not supported by PCSX2 by default. So I have downloaded a utility called Enjoyable. I'll turn that thing on. I can, yes, it is enabled right now. So yes, if you want to check out uh, how to fix your controller for PCSX2 or PPSSP, I have already created a video. You can check that out. Now let me add the uh, game directory. Actually, I have stored my games on my SSD. So this is the Mac emu, which is directory for games. I mean the SSD, of course. I have to search for PPS2. There we go. Now you can see we have the games and also there is some tool called cover downloader where you just have to give the idle names this wrapper right here will give you a link basically use this url for cover so use this link here and then so this is how you can download all the covers at once now let's start with the god of war as you can see, the game is working just fine. And also I have set up my controller as well. If you are unaware of how to fix your controller, then you can check out one of my previous video. And there are some properties that you can change. For example, go to the rendering and change it from native to 4K because it supports 4K. Aspect ratio, you can fit to full screen. Yes, so yeah, we are ready for playing our game. The controller is working fine and yes, that's it. Now let's move on to PPSSPP. Now let me pull that PPSSPP SDL. Even this, we have our games already because the directory is already set up. So the directory I have chosen is the Mac Emu and then gaming. Then for PSP, I just have to select the PSP directory because I have my ROMs there. If you want to know where to download ROMs and all, so make sure to comment that out asking the URLs. I'll make sure to provide you all. So yes. There is not much of configuration needed in PPSSPP because it's already a great emulator that has been defined over the years. Yes, this is our game. And I can use my controller as well and start the game as well. Yeah, so that is all the things that we need to set up for PC PPSSPP as well. There is not much thing to configure in PPSSP, although you can, you know, change the graphics settings and all. 
but PPSSPP is already a great emulator with default configuration so you no, need not you know need any additional configuration and settings you can change the graphics rendering resolution I have maxed out to 4k although you can go to 10x as well but I see some problems when I use 10x on my Mac M1 machine you can try playing around things but for me you know Vulkan graphics and rendering resolution of 8x is working just perfectly fine uh, and it uh, you know gives me some frame rate issues when I try to uh, you know record the screen at the same time otherwise everything works just smooth as butter yeah that's it for this video if you have any questions and queries please make sure to put that in the comments below I'll answer them yeah that's it see you guys in the next one peace